Hello and welcome to a new video. I am so excited to be recording today because I am introducing you to a new shawl pattern. It's always so exciting when there's a new pattern that comes out and I get to show you the full, um, the full finished piece um, because it's, you know, um, it's been in the process for a couple of weeks, if not a couple of months, and sometimes I'm not able to show you, you know, everything. So it just feels good to finally being able to unleash or reveal the, the final piece. So without further ado, here's the Homestead Shawl. Um, so the Homestead Shawl is a shawl knit from side to side, so you basically start from this edge here and you increase on one side every other row until you reach the other end. The pattern is, it features a lot of garter stitch as you can probably see and a few eyelet rows and a little bit, a few, a few rows of lateral braids and it's just a very intuitive and relaxing pattern because the repeat is the same throughout the pattern except for uh, one part where it's slightly different but everything is written. There's some kind of rhythm <laughs> in the pattern so you can easily like read your knitting and know where you where you at <laughs> where you at in the pattern and yeah it's it's very very easy the guard is just you know you don't have to do anything basically just knit on the, on the right side knit on the wrong side um, there's a few um, stockinette rows um, eyelet row that you need to pay more attention to and the braid stitch that is um, I have recorded a video for that specific stitch so um, in order to avoid any confusion because it's a stitch that is a bit more technical and that was something new to me as well so it can be a little bit fiddly at the beginning you know it's a new stitch or a new technique so it's always um, you always need a bit of time to um, getting used to the stitch but I hope that the video is going to help you with that so yeah, once you knit your first braid, I mean, it's gonna go really, really quickly as long as long as you um, try to loosen up your tension for this stitch. It's a little bit similar to the herringbone stitch if you've ever done it, not not in the way that you that you knit, just in um, in the process, meaning that you have to be careful to. Um, to knit more loosely, otherwise it can be it can be a bit fiddly. And basically that's all <laughs> for this pattern. It's very simple and it just creates the most cozy and warm piece ever. And it's very versatile. Um, you can I think it looks great with lighter lighter yarns to enhance the braid stitch um, specifically. And yeah, I recorded uh, or retook the pictures, the pictures for the pattern at the Ethnographic Museum on a very cold Saturday morning. And oh my goodness, I was not wearing my coat for aesthetic reasons. And I was freezing. It was so cold. And I was so grateful that we were actually <laughs> Uh, taking pictures for a very woolly piece uh, rather than a lace shawl <laughs> because I would have caught a cold, that's for sure. It was just freezing. But it was amazing at the same time because there was absolutely no one in the Ethnographic Museum so we could walk around and enjoy the scenery and take pictures and we've had a great lunch um, there as well, we've had traditional Latvian food, so it was just the most beautiful, beautiful day to record, um, I mean to um, shoot the pictures. So yeah, 
As for the yarn, I have used uh, Baron U Dove Stone Aran. So the shawl is knit in a Aran weight yarn. Um, and it is 100% British wool. And it is 100% British wool. And it's a blend of 50% Blue Face Leicester, 25% Wensleydale, and 25% Masham. And I have used five hanks for the pattern. Um, if you're planning to make it with a slightly um, thinner yarn, that's something that is definitely possible because you can uh, basically add more repeats of, um, of the stitch pattern. So the stitch count doesn't really matter. It's just on you, it depends on you if you are planning to make a larger piece. Uh, you can make it shorter as well, it just depends on your yardage, basically. If, you have, if you're planning to use a thinner yarn, just make sure that you have more uh, yardage to do that. Um, so, I guess that's it for the pattern, really. Um, it's just cozy, as you can see. I wear it at home, I wear it outside. It's the first thing that I grab when I go outside for for a walk or when I have to run some errands. It's just, it goes with everything in this colorway. Um, I've used the shade number two of the Dove Stone, which comes in uh, natural, natural colorways. They are undyed. So yeah, it goes, it goes with everything and it keeps me really warm, very cozy and I really, really love it. So. So the pattern is now available on Ravelry and you will be finding a discount code in the description box below with all the information for that. So yeah, um, if you cast on the shawl, let me know. You can tag me on Instagram, I'm bmandarins, or you can use the hashtag mandarinsdesigns so I can see uh, your, your progress, I can see the yarn that you're using and um, and your progress because this is always so rewarding and so exciting for um, a designer to see different versions of uh, the pattern, a pattern that the designer created. So yeah, that's it for now. I wish you a beautiful, beautiful week and I will be chatting with you very soon again.